Well, I'm gonna take the this uh, generator belt. So good, the fan belt is usable. And I'll keep using it because these belts aren't that easy to get anymore. The farm all M and the one the ones without the steering are identical to the M or the or the W6 or any any of those. But this has power steering. The farm walls, I don't believe, ever used this pump, or the, they, they certainly didn't use this setup for power steering. And the later ones, the W450s, they have a priority valve with this one. And that's what feeds the state, and they feed the st steering off the big pump, and maybe the later 400s did too. So, uh, so they, 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 they only these and, and some of the. Like a Super WD-9 of power steering uses this pump too, and I think they'd use a longer belt though. So let's see if we can get this silly thing off. Like you could make a C belt work in these, there is room for it. And the, and it, but this, the original one should be good enough. These belts open, these pulleys open by, these, these belts tighten by the expansion and contraction of the pulley. By the tighten and loosen. So yeah, I put lots of weasel piss on. We don't want to break this because this pulley half is cast. We don't want to break that. So get some weasel piss on it. And I'll back the set, the nut off the set screw. This is not good. These slots are where where, the, where this is supposed to go. And somebody was either dumb and didn't put it right or where it's backed off and slipped, but either way, it's no good. I hate these slotted set screws. I don't think I got, I don't have a big enough screwdriver to take it. I'll see if the whole thing, if the whole thing is backing off, I'm laughing. And it's not. What I can do is I'll back this off a half inch and I'll double nut it. I'll make it go. I don't know if you can see this well, but there it is. I don't know how well this is going to work. I'll take a, an ordinary 5 16 nut and screw it on top of the jam nut if I possibly can. Tighten it up and then I'll try and back the whole thing off from the bottom nut. That should ought to do it. Doesn't want to start all that street to me. There, I think it started now. Okay, I'll see if it'll back, see if the big one will back off now. Is it screwing them, I suppose it's screwing them both, I think it is, yet. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, it took the whole thing. These screwdriver slots could be a pain, so. I'm gonna take this, uh, this right out of here. Gee, that set screws free. I'm gonna spray a little weasel piss in the hole just for just for giggles, I guess. Or you know what I mean. Now I want to turn the fan. I don't want to drive on this, and since these have multiple multiple lugs to drive on, I don't have to. Some of them they just drive at that spot the older style does. These fully halves are the same between the M, the 6, the 9s, the 600, 650s, supers, 400, 450s. This particular half is the same in all of them. 
So what I'm going to do to take this off is I got a blunt object. You want something that's blunt and something that's square. Round, round, uh, round thing you glance off of it too easy. It's, uh, where the square, square drift is better. So, okay, now we take the ha hammer. I'm using the four pound hammer. I'm using something with clout. And it's coming loose. Gotta be careful, these crack easy because they're capped. Again, we do not want to drive on this one, so we're going to skip the bleed. It's coming loose. See if I can turn it by hand. I'm not quite there yet. Actually, I should turn it up and put some more of this stuff on. More WD. More lubricated those things are, the better they go. At least I find that anyways. Some of you may have a different opinion. This is going really well. In fact, I may not even need to hammer it anymore. I got it. There we go. Stop. Well, you gotta get a belt to it. I guess belt will. I had to hold the help, but it'll still run. Uh, you can get, you have to, the closest you can do is get a C belt for this. And the C belt works on them. I've used a C belt on a W9, and they work fine. This is e better because there's clearance to use a C belt on the 400, whereas the 9, there's really not. And under the bottom pulley, and it's hard to get them on the bottom pulley on a 9. There you go. I just gotta get an A belt for the generator that go in case I H a few years ago already it was like thirty some bucks for one of these belts and they're just an A belt, so why not go a PV Mart and pay about ten for one or less. Okay, here's the generator bracket. And my dad wants me to put an alternator up. Now this this contraption is off a W6. Somebody put an alternator on a W6. And they butchered up the hood on the 6. And I don't like that. But I think the bracket itself is okay. But the tightener may not be. I've got to see what I can do to make this work. And not without butchering the tractor up. You see, I think the bracket itself would be all right, but you see it's built so it goes right. It's built wrong. It's built, they, they just cut, the, the guys who owned that six we wrecked, they, they didn't care, they just cut a hole in the side of the hood. I do care. If this is out of here, this whole thing is out of here, I could tip this in and make it more discreet, and that's what I'll do. That's a lot better now, it'll tighten up somewhat. Without 
bothering the hood. Not that you want. That's why I hate alternators on old tractors so much as a rule because people got to butcher them up to put them on. You shouldn't have to. On a four, there's not enough room and I keep the generator. Well, I got an alternator on this tractor. I had to, uh, the belt is awfully tight, but the belt, uh, belt, the next one longer, which is an A33, is too, too long. Like, we're, we're over 45 degrees or more like 60 degrees from the pulley, so you, given, given that, it stretches out a lot quicker. You got a lot less adjustment because of that, so I had to go with a shorter belt. I'd be, I'd rather have a longer belt and have it, it, it tighten it more, but I don't want to rub the hood either. Here's what I did for a tightener instead. I bolted it to the what the thermostat housing like it's supposed to be, and now the alternator I got just about right against the. The, the the valve cover, but that's what it takes to make these fit under the hood. Okay, I'm going to just put WD on this, and then I'm going to work the pulley a bit again. It's been a while since I worked on this tractor, so... Ah, the pulley's awfully tight. I'll get a blunt object. They don't like pounding on a bar with a screwdriver handle. There we go. Get her so you can turn it by hand. That's the only way to fly. I'll get turned right in. I'll spray some more weasel on it. And... Turn it back out again. Then we'll be ready for the fan belt. Yeah, that's plenty wide enough right there. Using a C46 belt on this, so I didn't buy the one, the one by part number. I just substitute. And coincidentally, a C46 also fits a W9, so that's a good piece of information. Go on, but you see that it is slotted, and there is some lateral adjustment left. So I'm gonna make the. I'm going to put the pump in as far as I can, the power steering pump, and the belt should fit. The belt started, so to get the rest of the way. Not like I'm trying to start it, so I'll set the crank on here and try and turn it. See, I get the GoPro sitting right. <coughs> Yeah, I've... there we go. There it's on. Okay, now I got the belt on and everything tightened. That's a nice thing. These shouldn't be that hard to turn, and it's not. I just turn these with the bar rather than beat on it. I will. I will give her a few taps to get her right tight, but... It's getting tighter all the time. This is a lot easier than beating on it. That's why you lubricate them and turn them by hand.
not bad for tight, but it needs just a little more, so I'll take my bar and hammer. Better. Oh, I went by. I'll try and go with the next one. There. Tighten now. They got right in the groove, and these grooves are wide enough. You don't need a dog point set screw if you don't have one. So I won't use one. A little anti seize on the set screw, and I'll put her in and jam it. Did a few times now. I'm kind now. I'm convinced that I got right, so I'm right down. So I'll put the nut over it. and lock it. When that's tight, it's done. So God bless you in the next video.